Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake of RobertoBlake.com geeking out with you today over a special unboxing. I'm going to be unboxing the Sony A6000 mirrorless camera. This is going to be amazing and I can't wait to get into it. So as usual, we're going to take out the handy dandy bat knife and we're going to get to unboxing this thing. So this Sony A6000 is something that I didn't go out and buy. I'm actually borrowing this, and I'm borrowing it from Lumoid. So you can go ahead and borrow cameras from Lumoid.com. They have some amazing stuff there, and that's how I'm able to actually borrow this camera and do an unboxing and do all the reviews that I'm going to do of the Sony mirrorless A6000 camera. So you should definitely check them out. I'm also going to be creating some video content with this, including some video test samples and just a real-world review of it over for The Toggle. So it's an online magazine about photography and uh, video and actually technology as well. So I would highly encourage you to go ahead and check them out and definitely look forward for some of the content showing up over there as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the Sony A6000. Now, something they also sent me was a lens for this. They sent me the 35 millimeter Zeiss lens uh, for this particular camera, and it's an f2.8. So this is gonna be tremendous on this. This is gonna be very similar to what I usually would do with my Nikon. I usually shoot with 35 millimeter. So that's how I'm gonna be doing the review. And the cool thing about all of this is that the mirrorless cameras are extremely lightweight, and I could feel that the moment I got it out of the box. I was really impressed with that. As for this lens, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what that's looking like, and we're just gonna go ahead and get a look at that, and my first impressions of all this. So we've got the lens here, and this feels solid in terms of build quality. I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew the cap here, so you can see the back there, get a nice look at those optics, and I'm gonna do the same thing for the front. Take off the lens cap. But the Carl Zeiss lens quality is just amazing and moving the focusing ring, that just feels so nice. You guys have no idea. So this is gonna be amazing here once we get it on the camera. Now with the Sony mirrorless cameras, they are an E-mount. So that's important to take note of that you'll want to use E-mount compatible lenses with this. This feels very good in the hand. It feels very comfortable, especially if you're somebody with smaller hands like me. Now, this does still have a hot shoe, so there's different things you could do with that. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily recommend putting a heavy you know, flash on this because I think that it'll feel ungainly if you do that. So I wouldn't recommend that. But based on the specs for this and how it handles low light situations, I really don't necessarily see the need to put a actual flash on here. If I was gonna do anything that required a flash, I would just go ahead and use my um, my young newo or my newer triggers and I would just put my remote trigger on here and then use a C-stand and a flash unit off the camera and I would light my subject that way. And I just really prefer to do that in general anyway. Now this does have 23 megapixels, which is amazing, it is insane. I will have all the specs in the description below as well as links so that you can get this for yourself and obviously a link so that if you want to go ahead and rent this from Lumoid, you can. And I really am just super impressed with how solid this feels and the build quality despite it being very small. And if you look at the back here, this menu system is actually really easy to use. I think this is probably just as simple and straightforward as any DSLR or point and shoot that I've ever used before, just in terms of feeling it. So that's my first impressions with this out of the box. And I just really can't wait to do a full review, get out there and shoot with this and show you how it works in the real world. So thank you Lumoid for um, helping me out with borrowing this and I really think that this is gonna be a lot of fun to shoot with. I have a lot of things that I have planned for it, and I want you guys to make sure you're staying tuned and checking that out. Anyway, that's my unboxing for the Sony A6000. 
let me know in the comment section what other cameras do you want me to borrow and do reviews for? Are you interested in seeing me actually use some Canon products since you know that I'm more of a Nikon guy? Do you want me to cover more Sony mirrorless cameras and compare them to my experiences with DSLRs and let you know if I would switch? I, I wanna know in the comment section below what you guys think and what you'd like to see me review here on the channel. Anyway, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching and don't forget, create something awesome today because I'm going to with the Sony a6000 right now.